Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thank you for joining me. I hope you are doing swell. Today we're talking about fathering autism and his son Isaiah, who is basically Ace of Moss reincarnated. Kind of weird. I mean, obviously. It's just good proof that when you're a narcissist raising other kids in that same world that you're in, like especially child exploitation, they become the same as you. So he's got this video where he's like, influencers have real jobs too. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we're going to talk about that. And there's like an accident that he was in that they're being sued for or something like that. We're going to take a look at that today. And I guess if we have time, there's another video where they're talking about like the, your questions or whatever. So I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be it's going to be crazy. Let's let's update you on fathering autism. Okay, so where we left off with fathering autism was, um, I don't know. They're super, super exploitative. Um, I've been covering them for, for since I basically began this channel. Um, but here's the thing. And I'm not showing you this to be like, oh, see, look, Isaiah's probably a terrible driver. But basically, this kid um, is going to court for reckless driving. There was a big accident. They sort of exploited it on their channel a little bit, didn't talk about it much. Um, but basically it's careless driving, got in an accident and somebody got hurt, I think, or he said, I think Asa said nobody got hurt, but the appearance date is going to be March 3rd, March 8th, 2024, I think. And uh, yeah, he's still going to go to that. I'm not sure why they're not exploiting this, but whatever is what it is. I've also heard, and I don't know if this is true or not, that Asa loaned one of their friends, I guess, or Isaiah's friends or one of the care workers, a car that didn't have insurance on it. And this girl also didn't have insurance. And I'm I'm not sure if this is correct. I, I'm just hearing inklings of this. And she got an accident and hurt people. And now Asa and that girl are both being sued for that. So they got lawsuits galore coming out of the wazoo as far as I'm concerned. Like, these just people are just terrible. Remember when Asa has been, like, Asa's been in court like 10 times. He, like, he had his license removed because he didn't pay child support. Remember that? And he was still driving? So I don't even know if he's even caught up with that. I don't know. He's a deadbeat loser because fathering autism Asa Moss had a child that he didn't tell anybody about, which is given K and Tay, right? He just didn't tell anybody about her. And it was just a deadbeat. Just let her hang out and, do, and like didn't ever help her, didn't claim her nothing. Just a disgusting piece of trash. These people are gross. And we've done videos about how they possibly could be covering up the things that they're buying by keeping it in his parents' name so that they can avoid the, the payments and uh, of, uh, avoid the, what they are worth so that he doesn't have to pay as much child support. Also avoiding taxes, um, taking uh, federal assistance from the government where they weren't owed it. Like there's been so much crap that's gone on with his family. It's insane. And it's no surprise that his son is basically him. And so some people reached out and said, you got to watch this video of Isaiah. And so let's watch it together. <laughs> pubics. Oh, Publix. <laughs> Should it's called pubics food. <laughs> I would not shop at pubics. Cause it's hairy. Hello, my mother needs me to get creamer and iced coffee. Zero fat creamer. And all purpose flour because she's becoming a homesteading girly now. She's not becoming a homesteading girly, okay? She wore Dorito bags as shoes when Abigail threw her iPad out the window. If you have not seen that video, go watch it. She literally had these hey dudes on and she didn't want to give them messy and because it was all muddy because Abigail literally threw her iPad out the window. I stan Abigail. Because I think secretly she trolls them and I just, I want to believe it that she just trolls them because they're just a bunch of wieners and she hates them all. Okay. Cause they've been exploiting her since day one. That's why I've been covering them since day one. I've been covering the video that I first started with fathering autism was him. Like, here's how my daughter uses the bathroom. Are you like no dignity? This girl can't say no. There's, she'll never be able to give any, any type of verbal consent or consent in general. They don't put a stop button on her iPad, stop filming. They don't give her any privacy. It's disgusting. And so I'm pretty sure she just trolled, tries to run away. And don't forget, when Priscilla was putting on the Dorito bag shoes going to get the iPad, we know that Abigail's a runner and that she can get out of her seatbelt. And that was one of the most dangerous things I have ever seen them do. So spare me, a homesteader. <laughs> what? She, she can't. Are you serious? They're the laziest people on planet Earth, homesteader. Get wrecked. And she also needs me to get... Uh, What's this light? You look like a serial killer. Like the laundry detergent and scent beads. What, what is this garbage? You're a scent bead. <laughs> I said what I said. Tiny burn. 
I'm just a little runner. You know, when I first got my license, I was super excited about it. So I was like, oh, I get to go and do all the things. Is he really talking about driving around? Because he crashed his, apparently crashed his car into a, a, a like a parked car. <laughs> what an idiot. It's really just about running your hands for your parents. Are you serious? He crashed into a parked car? <laughs> That's all it is. That's what your license is given to you for. Until you're the age of like 25, you're going to be running errands for your parents. And Wait, are you, if you're in an accident like this and you're reckless driving, don't you get your license suspended for a little while or something like that? Is he driving around with a suspended license? I don't know. I'm just taking a guess. What's going on there, little Isaiah? You okay, buddy? Even then, maybe. Just know that. If you're a kid out there watching this, that's what you're made for. Shut up. You know what else? You know what you're not made for, though? Being exploited on the internet. And don't forget, this guy was a victim up until his 18th birthday when he decided to become an adult and then choose this path and exploit his sister while doing it. So he was fine until he decided to be like his dad. Why would you want to be like them? Don't forget the Priscilla Ma Moss lipstick on a pig or whatever her thing is called, exploited her nonverbal autistic daughter so many ways in so many videos to sell garbage makeup and skincare while looking like she looks. Okay, remember when she did the face of makeup and, her, and Abigail's nose started bleeding? And they're like, oh, that's normal. Like, come on, man. These people are disgusting. So you see in the back of my last video, I had these like plants on my windowsill, right? And what those are, hold on, let me. Why are you wearing a... Looks like you're wearing a football helmet. No, closer. This guy, like, he's got thick hair. I'll give him that. And what those are are my, um, my plants that my parents actually got me not too long ago. He looks like a Hanna-Barbera character from the 80s. <laughs> you know, they always drew the hair like that for, like, the Scooby-Doo characters. They're, like, all kinds of different, uh, um, I can't think of the word right now, like, cacti and things like that. But the things that don't need a lot of water and all this kind of okay. things. So when it's like dripping garbage. kind of ugly weather out like this, really, really humid, I like to leave them out for a couple hours even, you know, just to let them kind of get that. Okay, nerd, move on, let's go. Misting of rain. And what is this? Okay, <laughs> one tells me he's lonely, you know what I mean? Just saying. And I really like succulents. Oh, that's nice, I'm just gonna leave. Girl takes off when I'm on the. I don't know. It just feels nice, also, to like let your plants have a little outside time, a little enrichment time outside of their enclosure. This guy got his ass kicked in high school so much. It's a stupid thing, but I yeah, think it's, it's stupid. Cute. Also, it's uh, not. Uh, not in pop right here, so we're going to dinner. Of course you are. All these people do is go to dinner. That's literally their entire life. The only time Abigail's happy is when they go for a dinner. Getting a call from the president or something. Go, 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 go. Nice giggle. I wasn't like, they're on one. Stop, no. Don't like that. I love old people right so it's, it's, I wonder what these grandparents think about this guy that their son in law, I think that's her, Priscilla's parents, that they literally, like, there's like this other girl just out there that he just ignored and didn't see. Like, you imagine being a deadbeat like this guy? Wow. Like Maybe it's his mom. So they, if that's his parents, then again, I reiterate, what if it's like, you have another grandkid out there. Like, do they not see her? Like what's going on with that? One day I hope that grandkid, I, one day I hope his daughter speaks up. One day I hope she, she could like tear them to shreds. Queen of the desert over here with her, with her animals lined up in front of her. <laughs> So, this is the worst today. video ever, man. Family, uh, not in Papa included. We Why is this? What do you put? Turn the light on. We got to grab dinner with them before they head back to North Carolina, which was super awesome. Love seeing them as always. Hey, maybe you could put a mic on that works. But, um, just a suggestion, Mr. Filmmaker. I have some homework to do and work works, so we're gonna crank that out. And then. Influencers have real jobs, do they? Tomorrow we're starting off the week good. Ready to go. How, How do you know you're starting tomorrow off good? Are you a time future teller? What are those people called? Time future? What are those people called? They like read your palms and stuff like that and you can tell the future. Fortune tellers. Have a great weekend. Crazy freaking productive. Like, I it wasn't. Put up these new shelves. Why do you have dance lights? I'll have to show you guys those tomorrow. I Is he drinking beer? Oh, you're such a big boy there. Yeah, big boy. Stocked my fridge up pretty well. I got drinks and things. It's mostly drinks, if I'm being drinks. honest. Um, my stocking the fridge is just making drinks look nice. But yeah, let's uh, 
Okay, Justin Bieber hair circa 2003. Let's flip on some music and get to it. Do it. Let's do it, bro. Do it. In two, in one, two, three, four. Super cool. Dear person on the internet, I love you. Doing. These people consume so much Duncan that literally Duncan flows through their veins. And I mean like donuts and stuff too. Hey, let me pretend I'm talking to somebody. How you doing, Mr. Friend? <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, me too. We, yeah, Duncan stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, I play video games when I'm not filming. That's all I do. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, my hair looks like a helmet. <laughs> you idiot. This guy for real? Where's their shoes in the house? Why is this guy dressed like a 75 year old uncle? Why is this guy dressed like Seinfeld? That's, that's weird. He's like 22 or something. <laughs> he dressed like he's like a substitute math teacher. <laughs> ah, the vehicle that exploitation bought you. Don't forget they bought a house for this guy. And I guarantee you, like, some of most of the stuff will be in his name or the grandpa's name or anything. These people are so shady. So shady. He's got to come back and get the camera. <laughs> you never, everybody, no one ever sees the, like, set up the tripod every different place and then has to go back and get it. See, this is why it gets me because he's gonna get into that front seat of that car, pretend like, and he's gonna back out even, and then he's gonna have to pull back in and come get the camera. But, stop. You remember like uh, what's that movie? Monsters Inc. And it's like that lady that's like Mike Wazowski. You ever seen that movie? Oh, what's the dinner? What's the dinner? Yeah. Enchiladas, enchiladas with a white sauce. You're a white sauce. I love enchiladas. You make a banger enchilada. Oh, thanks. Of course. You don't talk to your mother like this. We have the... Of course! <laughs> no problem, ma'am! Over rotisserie chicken. Yeah, for lunch? No, no. Oh, for icing. And we have leftover tacos. Like, it, it, it's... Like she knows she's being filmed, right? They're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to clean this one area. If like look around the camera, it's probably a million things everywhere. Uh -huh. So I made some taco, some uh -huh. ground beef, and some chicken. Ooh! You care so much for us. Look how many Stanley cups they have up there? What would y'all get up to today? For all their Dunkin' and juices. Just working. Just working. And working how? I sell skincare to ugly people. It's good though. Yeah. It's lucrative. Thank you. I was telling the vlog about um. I thought. Yeah, like you didn't know you're on their arms. Like you didn't know. You didn't even know. I did not. <laughs> you sounded like you were ready for it. She cares so much because she's got. Your light sucks, Isaiah. You suck at lighting. I'm such a good husband at home. What? That felt like a. Sitcom moment, you know, yeah. when he comes in. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, your joke died and you kept that in? Good. Hey! Yeah, no, that's fair. I understand. He's like, yeah, no, you're dumb, Dad. So, I'm not gonna remember. Isaiah, you're him, so you're also dumb then. Reveal any names or anything, because. Why does the light keep changing? Anonymity or something. But, uh, I had a PhD student contact me about doing a study on, like, influencer kids. Oh. So I bared all our dirty secrets and talked about how my parents used to put me under the stairs and I went to a special school and... Oh, the Harry Potter. I get what you did there, jokester. And a big guy in a beard came and picked me up and um, 
Priscilla's like, I don't get the joke. you don't read. That's Harry Potter. Uh, no, but I... I... <laughs> jokes. So many jokes. <laughs> hey, I'm just talking about how uh, <laughs> you didn't get that. You didn't get that. No. Why wouldn't you get that? <laughs> no. Uh, I talked about how, like, how cool of an experience it was. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this guy got everything handed to him in a silver platter because of his sister. We're not worried about you. You weren't really exploited. Your sister was full-blown exploited and still is. So that's who we're worried about. How was it being a kid? Can't ask Abigail the same questions, even though she's almost 19, right? Can't ask her those questions. Never will be able to. Never got her consent, nor could they ever, nor will they ever. So how do you how does that work? Do you guys like split the pay and all these things? And I don't know. It's just no. an interesting I actually hide that my dad actually hides the pay so that he had to pay less in child support. <laughs> He's got this trick. This one trick the IRS really hates. <laughs> Hiding money. Thing to think about, because to most people being an influencer is not a real job. You're not an influencer, dude. And I get that, right? But in the same respect, like, it's a, just a new age job. It's a job. You get paid money. It's a job. Like, it's a stupid job. Don't get me wrong. And it's highly dumb, but it's a job. People that worked on cell phones or, you know, computer programmers were not, didn't have a real job when that came out. What? What? People who made cell phones and never programmers and never what? What are you saying right now? Right, right. So I don't know. It's just something to think about. Yeah, thanks. Thinking about it. I think we had an interesting take on it though. Like mom and I did. Yeah. How's I'm that? watching. I'm watching the enchiladas. They are not going to jump out. Mom. No, but it's on foil and it just takes one second. How do these people even move around their kitchen? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like being in the kitchen with people touching me, and these people can't even be in the kitchen without touching each other, ever in any position. So, I think, you know, both of us had the same, like, oh, yeah. you're, like you're, like, talking to someone about like, childhood, and, like, what is that? You know, because, because, like, we only share what we want to share on right. the internet, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it all leaks out that you're a deadbeat dad. Right. And you didn't want to share that on the internet. Then, like, I had this Did you? But you know, we only want to share what we want to share. Like our daughter uses how she uses the bathroom. We wanted to share that. Like no, he's like stealing somebody's food on an airplane, crying, pooping on a boat. Just you know, sharing little things here and there. Her absolute fear of ceiling, so we took her to a cave. Meeting strangers at Dunkin' Donuts. You know, we share what we want to share. As adults, yeah, we have a good family. Like, like there's nothing that I would. You don't have a good family. You are a deadbeat loser. He's literally him and Abigail have a half sister that they likely have no idea who she is. Probably never met her. Nothing. You're just a deadbeat loser. There's secrets. There is no secrets. There's no, nothing that there's no secret. I'd be uncomfortable. But there was still that feeling of, to be honest, you know, that feeling of like a little bit, like a little uneasy, you know? Yeah. Like, I would be too if I was a deadbeat dad. Wait, what? You're doing a what? But it's not because... And you didn't ask us. You didn't really tell us. You just like, hey, I gotta go do this thing. You know? He's an adult. He doesn't have to ask you anything. And so, yeah, Ace is telling you the truth there. He's like, we were worried that this person's looking for a different angle or they weren't, they didn't have good intentions. They were going to write a good story about it. And who, who could write a good story about child exploitation? Like, I'd like to see this article. It's not to clarify to y'all. It's not because, like you said, we didn't have secrets. We're not hiding anything. We don't Are you serious? He absolutely had secrets. He's been arrested. He's got like issues like you can just look up like this there's issues this guy is like lost his license because he didn't pay child support like these people are disguised there's more stuff that we don't even know about yet that's coming down i mean this is us i put up this camera and mom was talking and she didn't know that she that she was talking to the camera yeah, she, right she was yes yeah, she did because that's just how she is she talks the same no that's not true nope on camera, she does off camera. No, she doesn't. Just regular people. Hey, can you smash some more cutlery, please? We curse a little less and like, yeah. or a little more off camera. Yeah, so you're lying. But you know, yeah, I don't know. That was a cool aspect of it. I really cool. I love it. Great and great, great video. Build a study, and there, you know, there's a lot of. Questions. They're not even paying attention. He's just talking, and they're like, mm, check on the enchiladas. We need enchiladas. Get me some enchiladas. Should there be? Hey guys, they're like ignoring him. <laughs> I will just be trying to talk to people. He's panicking. Who are you talking to, buddy? 
There's nobody there. It's a camera. I know. Why do you have to use your hair? You're being mean to me, and I don't know the Bible bizarre, because I'm freaking out. You told me. Duck, 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 duck. I didn't want it to brown. Careful. Don't slam your hand down and stuff. You'll break the stove. Less than 25 minutes. I'm never going to get this done. I thought you didn't have class today, you said. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Paying attention. Great parenting. Because he's so self involved. Selling, again, selling lipstick. We made enchiladas at the perfect time. My point is, there's legislation coming out about family vloggers. Yeah. And my thought, I want to know your guys' opinion. That's Here's my opinion. Good. Let it, like, I'm not even saying pay kids. I'm saying do not let children on the platform ever until they're like 16, something like that. 16 is a good age. Like, no kids. Legislation should be like, protect kids at all costs. They're not on the internet anymore. That's it. There's, there's no upside to putting a kid on the internet. I brought this up for, for the kids. Place, is that the government should not make legislation on that. I don't think... Oh, yeah. You don't think they should make legislation on it? I wonder why. I wonder why you think that. <laughs> Interesting. It's because your parents made all their wealth off the expectations of children. Geez, wonder why you might be a little biased in that? I don't know. <laughs> just just saying it out loud, you know? That they are informed in it because the typical person isn't informed in it. Like, Are you serious? Everybody's informed on in it. If you tell somebody, hey, this family made their wealth off giving away their child's privacy, things like using the bathroom, all this craziness about everything in their lives, and like lied to everybody and all this stuff in their whole life, and they did this to a child, no sane human's gonna be like, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> now I'm more informed, and uh, yeah, it should, let him keep doing that. How do you make money off of ads? Honestly, I don't really know, okay? <laughs> they just pop up sometimes, and I hope that you don't skip every one of them, because some Yeah, you're not allowed to say this on YouTube. I mean, he's sort of getting around it. You're not allowed to tell people on YouTube, don't skip the ads. Because that's what creators get paid, right? You're not allowed to say that. So he's saying that without saying it. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I think it maybe makes me more money, or maybe it doesn't. And I don't know. I don't know anything. I think there should be, like, a page, like, you know. The fact that the camera will not even focus on them because the camera even hates them is funny. <laughs> family tube that makes family. This is the worst video I've ever seen. Family tube that specifically talks about it. That was a really good idea. I don't think you should gloss over that. Yeah. Isaiah said that there should be... A like there's there's YouTube kids. YouTube kids. You should have like family tube and like hey if you don't follow these guidelines, you're off of family tube. What are the guidelines? Exploiting children for money? Because there wouldn't be family. There should not be no, there should not be family tube. That's stupid. That's just giving people a bigger avenue to exploit children on. Are you kidding me? Of course they want that though. Like of course. No, family tube is a bad idea. Whatever, yeah, right? Like, like, that's a good like what? Your like kids, what? Oh, like, kids and they cry, gone. Oh, yeah, just pranking your kids? Okay, I agree with that. But what about exploiting them without their consent? Like, showing people how they use the bathroom. What about that? What about the dignity of your job? Did they get any of that? Like, of course, they're going to gloss over those things. Just like that. Shouldn't happen. Don't put your kids in emotional distress for the internet. What about fake stimming in front of your sister and make fun of her? Is that, would that get you kicked off? Just asking. Asking for a friend. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. oh, these people are so disingenuous and like, careful. Hope your subfloor is like at least three quarters of an inch thick. They're going. <laughs> We're trying to give them some entertainment while you talk to them. Yeah, well, good. <laughs> good entertainment. So anyway, yeah, the whole like legislation thing, like when has ever legislation ever gone into place where it was like, there were no, you know, sure, no, no dog ears yeah. or no, you know, pork in, in rolled into it, you know. With Who cares? Roll all the pork you want into it. If it passes laws that protect children, I don't care about the pork. Although I do, because pork does dissuade others from voting on bills. So I get that. But who cares? As long as protecting, protecting these people don't want. I, imagine that the people who made their entire living off exploiting children don't want the government to tell them not to exploit children. That's I didn't see that coming at all. The, the bill that was signed, like that, it was actually actually well governed. If you guys saw the interview with with Congress and no. the Senate hearing, and he's talking about Florida, and they're passing a law where we're like going to take kids off of the like off. And I hope it happens. But DeSantis came out and said, oh, there's, he's got some hangups about it. And they're legitimate hangups. So we're going to do a dive into that pretty soon. But that's a pretty big deal. Like if Florida, if Florida passes this law, it's a lot of kids are going to be super pissed. But I don't care. Kids, kids will be kids. And they're going to hate that. But it's, in the end, they're going to thank when they get older and they don't have everything on the Internet about them. They're going to thank DeSantis. <laughs> Not Congress, yes, and the Senate hearing in Facebook, you know, yeah. Zuckerberg, it was embarrassing. Now, Mr. Zucchini. <laughs> I mean, it's embarrassing, but you're the 
kid is the actual victim of that whole thing. Like, are these people that obtuse where they're like, yeah, it's nothing to do with us. Your child is a victim of the same stuff and you're the ones who did it. Zuckerberg had to get up and apologize to people because you're the people that do this. <laughs> what an idiot. Am I to understand that you own the internet, sir? Does your <laughs> Wi-Fi connect to my wife's tablet e-reader? That she reads her novels. You know what they an idiot. say down here is there's something I like to say that the fig Newton's on out of the sleeve until you open it up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You guys and your joke. Such good jokes. That was a weird thing. And tell why his channel took off. It didn't take off. Things and stuff. That should not be the people making legislation about my job. No. Your job. Shut up, douche. So yeah, that's my take. Anyway, wow. we're gonna go. That's a shit take. You're gonna go. Yeah. Influencers have real jobs too. In in my class. Wow. What a great combo. Mm. Actually, looks pretty good. I almost forgot. These are my shelves. Wow, cool IKEA shelves. Super nice. They're really cool. I, uh, I have like camera gear on this one down here, with some cool camera stuff up there, and then some books and uh, these pretentious buttholes who have like these old cameras they don't even know how to use. It's hilarious to me. It's always gonna be funny. I have that little bookend camera that I put in there. It's a brownie. Really proud of that. Your underwear is brownie. Pentax sitting up top, another brownie back there. Pretty cool. That's all. Well, wow, thanks. With that, that's really all I got for you this week. But uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Also, if you notice all these like super close up, you know, fancy looking shots, I don't know. I just, fancy. <laughs> Maybe get some light. Got bored. I wanted to try and shoot something on a different lens this week. So let me know what you thought. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. So the whole literally video is called Influencers Are Real Jobs. And this guy's saying that this is his job because you suck at it, buddy. It might be a real job to you, but you're bad at it. So, sorry. Sorry about your luck. Anyway, let's go see. We have, let's talk about this video real quick. So this one's called Your Questions Make the Best Topics. I don't know. Maybe I'll just save this. Yeah, I'm going to save this one because I just want to talk about the Isaiah thing. So basically he came out and just said, oh, yeah, no, and, but this is this is Isaiah's job. Are you ready? So this is this is Isaiah in a nutshell. This is his video on YouTube. Brand new bidet, okay? So as you guys know, I've moved back into my parents' place. Okay, what's my job though? Because he's probably getting ratioed by people and like, it's, you, that's, this is your job? You don't make, what, you make $5 a week on this? Like he doesn't make any money, not really. Let's take a look at his little old littles. All right, so he's got 3 million views over the life of his channel since 2012. Okay. So he has gained 100 subscribers in the last 30 days. He loses subscribers. Like, look at this fluctuation. No, he lost 100. Okay, that's nice. So let's see what he gets paid. Basically, he does 42,000 in 30 days. 42,000 views. One of my videos gets between 40 and 100,000 views. So this kid is not, I mean, if this is your job, you'd make more money working at Wendy's. And your parents would probably appreciate that more, not gonna lie, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so this is what he does for a living. Let's see his job. What's my job? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm gonna be vulnerable for a second. If this is TMI, uh, just know, talking about excretions. Yeah. Okay, for a minute. So skip past this if you don't wanna- This guy went to college, has no riz. Was just skipped over was an excretion to everybody else. about it, but I am a pooping man, okay? I poop a lot, I poop often, I poop always. And IBS will do that to you, but what I decided I needed, and I saw this on Black Friday, so I got it for myself, is a bidet. Now I've been waiting all day to use this. Um, you guys get to see my first reaction, I'm excited. Are you literally gonna take a dump on camera? That's nice. Okay. He is, he's taking a crap on camera. We're recording here. You're doing a live stream of you taking a dump? It are you sure? Is this what you wanted? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Nice shirt, buddy. Again, you look like an accountant from 1973. We're recording here if you're not watching me over on Instagram. Where do you even get that shirt? You should be. First impressions of the day. I'm nervous. I'm actually shaking a little bit. Okay. What is it doing? This guy's literally spraying water up his bum hole and he's putting it on camera. Because he thinks that's going to go viral, I guess? Okay, your mother wore Dorito bag shoes. So, 
your dad's a dick, so. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Ooh. Oh, there's an angle. There's a spray angle. Hold on. I'm adjusting. It's not hitting me. I wonder if this guy wonders, why am I single? I don't know. I don't know. It is a mystery of the universe, Mr. Man. Oh, that's crazy. Probably sucks at golf too. Woo! I'm sweating a little bit. That was awesome. I feel much cleaner. I'm not gonna lie. Save your bottom. Get a tushy. <laughs> tushy, sponsor me. This is a great product. There you go. That's what he's looking for. Tushy, sponsor me. I get forty-two thousand views a month. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wonder if fathering. I didn't even check fathering autism's one. What's he? What's he at now? Let's see what he remember. Remember when he said I would never be able to sit at the same table as him. Remember that. I laugh so much at that. I think it's so funny because it's been years since he said that to me. 295.5 million views. They've made millions of dollars on this channel. Millions of dollars. Okay. They've gained 1K in the last 30 days. They're down 31.5% video views since the last month. Uh, let's see here. Let's see full monthly statistics. So they're pulling in. 2.1 million views a month. There's probably, and that's long form video. Uh, they're probably pulling in about 10 to 15 to $18,000 a month, something like that. Still making great money, don't get me wrong, and she still has her MLM downline, lipstick on a pig, or whatever it's called. But they're like, their shit shit's done. Like it's done. Look at these big boosts. 1,700 average daily subscribers? When? Why? What happened there? Wow. So they're still getting a decent amount of views, though. I'll give them that. But they're still buttholes, like this. So this kid only knows, hey, I need to give something away. I need to show people, I need to show myself taking a dump on camera. And then here's a picture of my sister right after I take a dump and then spray my ass with water. That's disgusting. Um, it just feels like it's been a long time coming, which is kind of an awful. Anyway, what a wiener. That was a terrible video, Isaiah. You should quit while you're ahead. This is not going to be your job. I promise. Your dad got lucky because he exploited your sister. And unless, and, and again, he's probably going to resort to exploiting sister more. That's probably what's going to happen. Because that's all they have. These people are terrible. They have no talent whatsoever. They're dumb, ugly, lazy boners. That's all they, they and again, all they have is the exploitation of Abby and, and capitalizing and leveraging the, the autism thing. That was it. Crazy. How he got away with that. What a bunch of wieners. So there you go, everybody. Take a deep breath. After he took a dump. That's weird. That's sorry. <laughs> I say, quit your day job. Find another job. You're bad at this. Sorry. But you're not bad at this. You're good at being awesome, incredible, and amazing. Someone's got a super big crush on you. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Because you are some kind of something. I will see you when I see you.